Um, do you think the beauty community on YouTube is dying? Whoa. Do you ever rewatch your old collabs with people you no longer talk to? Would you play Squid Games in real life for $45 billion? Can you tell us anything about your new makeup line? Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day so far. I am very excited for today's video and I hope that you guys are as well. I'm gonna be answering your guys' questions all while getting ready, trying out some fun new makeup products and hopefully putting together a cute look by the end. So without further ado, grab a drink, grab a snack and let's get glam. Yeah! Oh. All right, you guys, I hope you're excited for today's video and answering some fun questions. If you've not already, of course, make sure you click the big subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And of course, that thumbs up button down below because these questions are going to be a little crazy. I'm gonna first start off using the brand new Nimia by Nikki Tutorials. This is the Where It All Starts Cream and I am so proud of Nikki for launching her own makeup line. It's so cool. Um, I did use this a couple of days ago and I really liked how it worked. So this is going to be our primer and moisturizer for today. If you can erase one thing forever, would it be the brick brows or flashback Mary? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I had to erase one of those like memes from the internet forever, it would probably be the brick brows. Cause Flash Like Mary was really embarrassing, but it also became literally one of the biggest internet memes like of all time, especially in the makeup community. And I feel like Flash Like Mary really like boosted me and my career, even though I was people making fun of me, like I was able to use it to my favor. The brick, the brick, oh, oh. The brick brows definitely brought a lot of attention to my Instagram as well, but it was all negative cause it was all people dragging me. Okay, let's go to question number two. Let's stick with beauty drama. Oh God, sure. I'd prefer not to. This is a good one. From Justin Fuko. Um, do you think the beauty community on YouTube is dying? Whoa. Whoa. Um, the beauty community on YouTube? I guess it really just depends on what you consider the beauty community. Because I feel like like the beauty community is never gonna die because there's always people who love makeup and post their makeup looks and stuff. But I definitely think the beauty community, as like the social media world knows it, is nothing like it once was. I mean, there's been so much drama, so many cancellations, so many different people taking a step away. And I frankly have been one of them. I don't blame anybody. So I feel like it's not the same vibe as it once was with like all the big creators you know, being on top and stuff. I feel like it's much more focused on a lot of like the smaller artists and smaller creators now, which I think is personally amazing. So well, I feel like the beauty community is predominantly on TikTok now, which is, I feel like a much, much better place for them anyway, because it actually gives talented people an opportunity to grow and shine. Whereas it's really, really hard to get a break on YouTube. It was asked, do you want another pup? Do I want another dog? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yay. Nope. And it's been, it, nope, I do not want another dog. And you know what's even worse about that is the conversation has been happening quite often in the household here. Finn and Theodore are the loves of my life, but they are such a handful, it is not even funny. Theodore is still crazy a year later. That's quite enough. We do not need another dog. Fast forward to the video and we adopt a third dog. And do you really like living in LA? A lot of YouTubers are leaving. Where would you go if you didn't want to live here? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, if you had asked me this two years ago, I would have said I'm obsessed with living here and I would never ever leave. But my answer now is definitely not the same. I do like living in LA, but I'm not opposed to leaving and I cannot see myself here forever. I did just buy this house and I wanna enjoy it for a while before selling it. But I will say if I was to move out, I would probably go to Texas, which I know is like the cliche answer that everybody's giving right now, but it's fun there. It's growing really quickly and the taxes are phenomenal. So let me just clarify before I start getting attacked in the comments as well. I have no problem paying taxes, okay? I've always paid my taxes on time and in full. Do not worry or come for me. Imagine like, howdy sisters. <laughs> yeah. Next question is, do you ever rewatch your old collabs with people you no longer talk to? Oh, Um. my, that is, that is a sad question. My honest answer to that is yes. I do rewatch old collabs with people that I'm no longer friends with. Honestly, probably more often than I would like to admit, but it's, it's also not something that I am ashamed of, you know? I feel like as a content creator, it's really fun to film videos and look back at them in the past. They're kind of like little moments in time that you get to remember, kind of like home videos and stuff. So even though there are several people that I'm no longer close with or no longer friends with for whatever reasons, I feel like it is cool to look back at, you know, the positive moments and like the good memories that were made on camera. Cause a lot of the times 
they are really fun videos. At the end of the day, like we're still human beings and you know, most friendships don't last forever. Everybody, no matter what their follower level is online, has friends and relationships in real life. And sometimes people just drift apart for whatever reason it may be. And that is totally okay. It's part of life. It's part of, you know, growing up and being a human being. So um, yeah, I definitely do look back at some old videos sometimes. And no matter how the friendship ended or drifted apart, I think it's always nice to be able to look at the positive aspects of it and think back to the positive memories, which were gratefully caught on camera. Next question. If you could, would you play Squid Games in real life for $45 billion? Oh my, absolutely. I 100% would because I am in the head. No. I am not in debt. I am very responsible with my money. However, the idea of like that sort of competition is so fascinating to me. Like if, People are gonna think I'm crazy. Like I was obsessed with Hunger Games as a kid. If the Hunger Games were real, I would absolutely volunteer. I would die within the first 20 minutes for sure, but it would be so much fun. But like not right now. I think I'm like, I love my, I like am happy with my life right now, moving forward, working on a lot of fun, amazing projects. So maybe in like 20 years down the line when I'm like maybe retired, doing whatever I'm doing, living in Texas, yeehaw. Would well, you guys not play Squid Games? No, really? Not. Oh, this chunk of hair is really, 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 really bothering me. It looks so ugly. Great new question by my new thoughts. Thoughts about getting a new haircut? This one isn't really flattering. Oh my god, are you kidding me? People are ruthless. What the f did you just say about me? I'll have you know that I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEAL. I do understand. There are certain videos where I look back at myself and I'm like, oh my God, this looks crazy. But then there's other times where I think it looks, you know, amazing. It very much depends on how I slept the night before, what it's styling like that day. It's very annoying. For me personally, my hair has always been a major, major insecurity of mine. I used to have really long, greasy hair when I was a little kid. Then I cut it really short and it didn't look the best. Then I had a man bun, which was a very questionable face in the beginning of my career. And now we are here. Leave me a comment down below and let me know genuinely what you think would look good on my head. Because personally, I think I look good with this hairstyle. I like it, I feel confident in it. <laughs> That's, that comment is ruthless. This one is not flattering. Damn. Why don't you post three times a week anymore? First of all, did you ever post three times a week? I did, a long time ago. I used to do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I did used to do two posts for quite a long time a few years ago, and now we are only uploading once to YouTube. Um, and the honest, answer is, is that it was a lot of work doing two videos a week and I really liked it. Um, but I used to be of the mentality of like literally working myself to the point of exhaustion. And I thought that that was the recipe for success and happiness. And of course we did create a lot of really amazing videos that I am so proud of looking back at things. And I did have a lot of fun having that busy of a schedule, but it did definitely take a toll on my mental health and my physical health too. Um, so recently we've just been uploading one video a week to YouTube, which has given me a lot more time to focus on a lot of other amazing, amazing projects that I'm working on behind the scenes that I am so excited to tell you guys about. You guys know we're working on a podcast for a little bit. I'm working on a few other fun business ventures and ideas as well. Our merch just relaunched last week. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love on that, by the way. Just because we're doing only one video a week right now on YouTube, it does not mean that we will not go back to two videos a week in the future. Um, but if it does happen, it probably won't be on YouTube. YouTube. That's all I'll say. Next question here, piggybacks off the last question, is what ever happened to the podcast? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, that is a great question. So for those of you guys who do not know, myself and my team were working on a really fun podcast. It was a super cool concept. We had the literal coolest set design ever built. I'm literally looking at it right now. It is still here in the studio. We wrote and recorded a theme song all together. We had an animator create like the coolest intro ever to the podcast. Like this was a fully like ready to go project. And then I ended up taking a break from social media for quite a while, which was definitely needed. So it did not end up launching. At this point, it's like literally ready to go at any point. I think we're just waiting for a time when myself and everybody else feels comfortable to just sit down and start talking. If that's something that you guys really want to see from me, please let me know because I've kind of just been waiting until the time when it feels right. Okay, so for blush, I'm actually gonna use something that I have been working on. Oh my God, look at how pretty that looks. <clears throat> Piggybacking off that thought, can you tell us something, well, can you tell us anything about your new makeup line? Ooh, okay. Um, I can definitely tell you some fun things about the makeup line. <laughs> Please do. 
So I've been working on it now for almost two years. I think it's been about like a year and eight months. I really wanted to take my time on the brand. You know, I feel like there was a period where everybody was launching their makeup lines and I mean, they're still launching now to this day. And I definitely felt really like rushed and pressured only by myself to get something out quickly because I knew that people wanted it. But um, I'm actually really glad that I ended up taking my time to do the proper research, work with different labs on different formulations and different product ideas, and just developing like the brand identity and figuring out how I want it to stand out on the shelves or in your makeup kits from every other product that's already on the market. Because let's be real, at this point, there's a million makeup brands, you know, every influencer, every celebrity has one. I will give you guys a fun sneak peek that the first product I'll be launching is probably not something that you have in your makeup kit, which is kind of fun. Um, it's something definitely different and new. We are really, really close with being able to share it with you guys. So it'll definitely be coming in 2022. I do not have an exact date yet. And that is not like a PR answer. Um, I truly do not have an exact date yet, but as soon as I do, of course y'all be the first ones to know. And I really, really hope that you are excited because I know I am. So today's makeup look, I'm actually really pumped for because it's something that I've never done before. I'm actually wearing a very fun pair of pants that look like this. Is so I thought I would do, I thought I would do a fun cow makeup look inspired by my cow pants. So. <laughs> Let's get into it. By the way, I'm looking at the makeup artist Mary Love Official that did this look on Instagram. Um, I've seen a million people do this like cow look, but she did it so good. So I'm just looking at hers for reference. Okay, you guys, so now that I have my little white cow spots, I'm just gonna use a black liquid liner. This one is by Makeup by Mario. Um, and I'm just going to start adding in some fun black details. Another question is, have you ever felt like you overdid the face tune to the point where it doesn't even look like you? Oh my God, yes. A hundred percent. Looking back at my old Instagram photos is like horrifying. I haven't deleted any of them because I think it's all like part of the journey, but I'll never delete those apps on my phone, but I am trying to use them a little bit less. Who's the nicest guest you ever collab with? Ooh, I like that one. Let's bring some positivity into the video. Thinking back, I've done a lot of collabs on the channel and for the most part, everyone's been pretty nice, but I would say there's two people that stand out from the rest from being like really cool, like even more nice than you would probably imagine. The first one would be Kim Kardashian, literally one of the absolute sweetest people that I've ever met in my entire life. And she has always been absolutely incredible to work with. She's so good at responding. She's good at planning. She's just a really all around amazing business person. And I am really lucky to know her and the whole family. Um, and I would also say the second person that was amazing to work with would be Lil Nas X. Um, we had so much fun filming our collab together. We're still really great friends. He's just so sweet. His entire team was really cool to be around as well. It just felt like a really inspiring and cool environment. And I'm just so proud of everything that he is doing. It's like, it's unreal. I feel like this is turning out really cool so far. Oh my God, this stupid hair is still a problem. Why would you say that? So Max, do you ever wish you didn't make sisters to quote on all of your apparel? Do you wish that sisters wasn't your brand overall? Ooh, wow, that is a, okay. That is a good question actually. Okay, so I would say yes and no. I love that you guys are, you know, the sisters. We needed a name for the fandom when I first started blowing up on social media. And I feel like it was a really cute thing that lasted for a really long time. And obviously I still use it in all my videos to this date, but I do feel like it was a bit more of like a youthful greeting. Whereas now that I have gotten a little bit older, I definitely would try to make sure my brand is a little bit more mature and professional. You know, we just released our jackets last week from the cafe collection. They still have sisters on them, but it's much more like subdued. I love the brand that we've created together. I'm never gonna like ditch it all together and pretend like it never happened. But as I grow up a little bit, I am trying to, you know, work on just building myself as more of a brand rather than just sisters as a whole. Okay, we're gonna end on more of a deep note. If you could tell your younger self one thing, what would that thing be? Oh my God, I feel like I'm at like the RuPaul's Drag Race finale. What would James Charles have to say to little James Charles? <laughs> There's a lot of things that I want to tell my younger self. I feel like my biggest thing that I've learned growing up is that, Ooh. wow, that's why I don't answer questions while doing my lipstick. I feel like the one lesson that I have really learned while growing up that I wish that I could go back in time and tell my younger self would be, you don't have to 
act out and be dramatic and start fights and do crazy things for attention and for people to like you. I think that in the beginning of my, not even the beginning of my career, all throughout middle school and high school and then the beginning of my career, you know, I was definitely focused on like, what can I do or say that would be shocking or slightly offensive or funny to get like attention. And I wish that I had just focused more on myself, my personality and my talent. So I think at this point, we're going to set our face in place and I'm gonna grab the brand new mattifying waterproof setting spray by Patrick Starr. And we're going to lock this nice little cow in her pen. <laughs> Pen. What, do we, what does a cow stand? They roam, but like, I don't, like on a cow farm. <laughs> what audio? There's a, there's a cow outside. Oh, what's that audio? Randall, there is a cow outside. There's a cow farm. You're gonna find cows outside. There's a cow farm. We're gonna find cows outside. <laughs> <laughs> Your last question is, have you ever had a And on that note, ladies, I think that is all we have for today's video of answering juicy questions and this very fun, cute cow makeup look. Some may say that this makeup look was definitely the move for today's video. Nice. <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed sitting down with me today. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up down below. Your support really means the world to me. And if you've not already, of course, make sure you click that big red subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, they're all just James Charles. And I think on that note, I really don't want to milk this outro any longer. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.